Greetings all, welcome to our first episode of Views from the Bridge. Uh, my name is Lucas Nash. We are joined today by the incomparable Cheryl Hilton. Uh, Cheryl is a founding member of the Bridge Committee and an immediate direct, uh, past director of GHAR and CTR. She has been recognized by the Connecticut Fair Housing Center for her pioneering work in diversity, equity, and inclusion. And she has developed a new mandatory continuing ed course called Understanding and Preventing Bias. Cheryl, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. This is exciting. We're happy to have you. So um, tell me a little bit about the new course, uh, Understanding and Preventing Bias. So this course is it's, um, it's a combination of um, history, um, which because we have to plan, we have to make sure people understand where we're even coming from. And then it kind of goes up to modern day. And it's really interesting and I'm very excited about it. Um, there's an interactive portion of it. And there are lots and lots of videos that are very, very succinct to really drive the portion home. And um, I'm just, I'm really excited. I, I can't wait to hear um, the feedback. I've heard that it's been very, very positive and people are interested. That's great. Um, why is this por uh, course important? This course is important because we all are biased. We all have a bias. And to bring it back to a real estate perspective, um, well, we all have, our biases can and actually do impact and influence the way that we do our business. So when you look around and you look at your office and there's nobody of color there, or you go to your office and everybody has the same mindset, or you go to your office and, um, or you look at your own, your own practice and you start to think, well, gosh, everybody looks exactly like me. There's an issue there and you have to figure it out. You have to ask yourself the question why. It will make us better um, realtors, it'll make us better brokers, and overall it will rise the, um, the profession. Why now? Why not now? You know, I mean, this is something, honestly, that I've been working towards for many, many years with the start of the bridge uh, committee. That's something that we've been working towards and now seems as good as time as any. NAR actually uh, changed our code of ethics and now it's like 10.5 with the hate speech which is so important because you see so many realtors, so many who will say something on their private Facebook page and then will turn right around, which is completely and totally either racist or biased, and then turn around and say, oh no, I don't, I, I don't violate fair housing. There's a disconnect. How could you have these views, espouse these views, and then turn around and say that that's not how you're running your practice? It doesn't make sense. So as always, like I always say, words matter and we are planting seeds. So, you know, I say that all the time. Um, we're, we're really not trying to change your mind. We're just trying to plant seeds to let people know that there is a different way to think. So that's it. And what would you say to, to someone who thinks, oh, I'm not biased, this course isn't relevant for me. What would you say to that person? So after I stopped laughing hysterically on the inside, <laughs> I would probably say something along the lines of everybody has a bias and we can all do better. Well, there you have it. Uh, <laughs> I personally am very much looking forward to your class. It's on uh, the 29th? Yes. Yep. I'm teaching 9 to 12 the 29th. Well, I can't wait. Thank you again so much for joining us. Thank you for having me and best of luck with the series. Well, there you have it, folks. This has been our first episode of Views from the Bridge. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach us at ghar at ghar uh, subject line Views from the Bridge. So long. <laughs>